I want to do several demonstrations using Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. The Mac Mini is connected to my Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. Everything is playing back really silky smooth. You can see Red One video codec, and there's the codec from my Sony camera, and now you see ProRes. The reason why I did this demonstration is because this is an interlaced timeline, which is what you would want if you were delivering to tape. You'd want 1920 by 1080 interlaced. It can play, you know, 4K resolution, just fine, multiple layers. But for the professionals out there, I wanted to say that, yeah, it can actually output to tape pretty nice. Everything's buttery smooth. On the computer screen, it looks kind of horrific. The motion paths are really jittery. The picture in picture that you're going to see is also really jittery. I now have a progressive timeline up and that motion path doesn't look good at all. It's 1920 by 1080 P. The reason it doesn't look good is because with Final Cut Pro, I have to go to the control panel for the Blackmagic Design product, the Alter Studio Monitor 3G. And you would think that you would make the setting change right here, but you have to scroll down to where you get to the Final Cut Pro. And now if I do 1080p progressive, I hit save. It's still playing back really jerky, the motion path. The reason being is with Final Cut Pro, I have to close out of the program and then reopen Final Cut Pro. The motion path is really silky smooth, just like if I was playing back the interlace timeline. Final Cut Pro does a really super good job at playing it back silky smooth. What I want to say is what you see on the computer screen looks really jittery and awful. I couldn't stand to put up motion paths and look at the computer screen using Final Cut Pro. Will the same result happen with Premiere Pro? Well, we'll look at Premiere Pro right now. What I want to do is disable the output really quick. And I have a keyboard shortcut that can do that. So you can tell it's not outputting anymore. You can see me. And I also want to let people know, now that I've disabled the output, some people are going to wonder, does the on-screen image look jittery still? Yes, it does. If I play this back, the motion path still looks jittery. It's not buttery smooth like it would be with third-party hardware. That's just the way things work out using Final Cut Pro. Now let's check out Premiere Pro. Now here's Premiere Pro and I want to, you know, output to the third party hardware. I have keyboard shortcuts and this is an interlaced timeline. With Premiere Pro, if you can play back at high quality and it's, and it's an interlaced timeline, you want to have high quality enabled and you also want to go in enable display both fields. So if I play this back, well, let me, let me click to where the, here we go. Let, let's start it right here. This looks really crisp, clean. The detail is there. You can see the texture and the patterns on that concrete. Um, the motion path is smooth, just like with Final Cut Pro. Everything looks fine. It looks really nice. However, if you want to play, you know, 4K, drop 4K into an interlaced timeline, which some professionals might do, if you still have to deliver by tape, you might have a black magic design camera or red one camera, and you can, you know, drop it into this interlaced timeline and edit really easy. I want to disable the high quality playback. In other countries, uh, you might want to display second field. But I know for the video clips I have, displaying first field looks the best. I'm going to go over here and I want people to realize, people might recognize this as 12K B-RAW. It is 12K B-RAW. Um, everything is playing back, buttery smooth. And we're also mixing in red one with 12K footage. And you're going to see it play B-RAW, uh, picture in picture, playing back, buttery smooth. What you see on the computer screen looks awful though, just like with Final Cut Pro. I don't have the high quality in both fields enabled, you know, like I said, because I'm playing back Red One files and B-RAW files, but the HDV video clips will still look fine. With Premiere Pro, they have that high quality playback that you can select, but you don't really need it. The playback will look pretty good without it, but with it, yeah, it'll clean up the image slightly. 
So all this is playing back buttery smooth. It's mixed timelines, mixed frame rates, mixed resolutions on an interlaced timeline. And I'll just play back, you know, red one, there's the A7 III. We're gonna see a nice slide buttery smooth. Now with Premiere Pro on a Windows machine, I always say if you're outputting to third party hardware, what's on the computer screen will always look kind of horrific. However, if you want to, you can always just disable the output to third party hardware, just disable the Mercury transmit. And if people want to just play it back using the computer monitor, like this slide will be buttery smooth. But with the M4 Mac Mini, just like with Final Cut Pro, it doesn't play back smooth. It's really jittery. Why it doesn't play back buttery smooth on the computer screen using the M4 Mac Mini, I don't know why. I know that if I use my Mac Mini from 2017 and Premiere Pro, it plays back buttery smooth, just as smooth as it would on my Windows PC. I don't get as many layers, obviously, but it can still play back buttery smooth. Right now, this timeline or sequence is 12K B-RAW. I have it at quarter resolution. And if I hit the L key, it plays back buttery smooth. 12K B-RAW at quarter resolution is gonna look really super detailed, crisp, and clean. I should mention the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G will only output 1920 by 1080. That's the highest resolution it can output. It won't output a full 4K image or a 6K image. So you might as well watch it at quarter resolution anyhow. But as you can tell, I didn't get any drop frames. You know, Premiere Pro's working just fine. So I really don't know what more you'd want from the M4 Mac Mini when using Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro along with third-party hardware if you do use third-party hardware. However, like I said, on the computer screen, things just don't look all that great. So let me disable this really quick and let me bring up DaVinci Resolve really quick. With DaVinci Resolve, if I press play and I try and play back the video, it is still jerky, just like Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro. I wanna let people know that you have to have 60 frames per second timeline in order for it to play back really silky smooth. With DaVinci Resolve, I have to go into Preferences. I have to go into where it says Video and Audio I.O. If I select Ultra Studio Monitor 3G and then I hit Save, it's gonna say changes will take effect the next time Resolve is started. It is 4K, 60 frames per second. And it's playing back buttery smooth using the third party hardware. Overall, I like the M4 Mac Mini. As you could tell, it didn't really matter what software program I used. I could mix and match video codecs, different frame rates, different frame sizes, and it can play back buttery smooth, provided I'm using third-party hardware. If you're not doing motion graphics, you probably won't need the third-party hardware. But if you do motion graphics or use any type of motion path, you'd be best served investing in third-party hardware.